Welcome to my review for the Budapest Grand Prix. It was the most interesting race of all time, but it was def definitely had some sort of interesting points that kept me watching. Um, obviously, the track doesn't offer the best overtaking opportunities. I think this track could be refined and improved on um, like simply by improving like the straight limps or just more corners that give opportunities for a better drive off the corners to get an overtake. Um, obviously the race was won by Lewis Hamilton, a great little race by him. The whole weekend was completely controlled by him in practice, qualifying and the race. He went from first to first, no gaps in between. So yeah, he held the race pretty well. And second was Kimi. He started from the middle of the field and managed to get his way up. He had really good performance with the Renault. Um, performed really well. Sorry, the Lotus Renault. Oops. He even said during the sort of press conference after that he has had problems with his curves and he could have potentially been in first place if the curves was working but obviously we, we don't know how much performance that would actually give um, but he had to sort of restart his curves at the start of the race and that obviously caused quite a few problems at the start uh, basically he couldn't overtake cars and just caused him big problems. Grosjean come third. At the start of the race I think a lot of people were like oh my god he's going to win the race he's going to get his first, not first place for his career, obviously that didn't happen in the end. Um, he sort of pushed the car perhaps a bit too much in the last stint. When Kimi came out of the pits and he sort of locked up his tyres, I think he probably damaged him a bit there as well. And yeah, he just sort of lost a lot of tyre performance trying to push for the victory. And he almost lost third place to Vettel as he was speeding along in his free stop strategy. Um, he just managed to hold him off. Obviously, as I said before, this track is very hard to overtake. This would have to be one of the worst weekends for Michael Schumacher. He had like a, a terrible sort of start to the race. Apparently he sort of figured out that the lights meant he had to turn off his car. So for some reason he just turned off his car. God knows what went on there. Uh, but then he had to retire as well. Pit limit penalty. Which is just another like just constantly bad like luck and performance. And just nothing went well. Definitely one of his worst races ever. Uh, Button had an okay performance. Um, obviously the strategy went a bit wrong from McLaren's side saying to do the free stop strategy which did not pay off at all and it looked like it looked like they were trying to um, it looked like McLaren was sort of perhaps testing out the strategy for Lewis and use Jensen maybe um, I hope that wasn't the case because I'm a big fan of both of the drivers I think they need, both need to be given decent opportunities to win the race but yeah that strategy did not work free stop was definitely not the way to go and two stops was definitely the fastest way to go in the race Alonso had quite a quiet day on his birthday, only a fifth place. Obviously, be quite disappointed with that. And again, he actually improves on his uh, leadership at the top of the table. So even though Alonso's at the top of the championship, Ferrari are actually fourth place, uh, just behind Lotus Renault, who got obviously got a second and a third, which is a great weekend for them. And McLaren are in third, only one point above Renault, and Red Bull are quite far ahead on 246 points. So yeah, you can clearly see where Massa's not getting the points, it's actually damaging Ferrari's championship quite badly. So a great weekend for Liz Hammond, congratulations to him. Obviously we've got a nice four week break for them now. It's really disappointing because I'm a massive F1 fan and I always miss it when it's not on each weekend. But the next race is Spa, which again which should be a great race. I reckon it could be quite a strong fight for McLaren and perhaps the Lotus Renault hopefully. Perhaps even Ferrari, they're normally quite strong there as well. So this should be quite an entertaining race. Make sure you check back before the Spa race weekend for my preview and obviously review afterwards as well. Thanks for watching and come back soon.